Hello everyone, T-Strats here with a brand new Last of Us Part 2 video. So in this one, I want to talk about five things that we might possibly see in tonight's Last of Us 2 showcase. So I'm calling them five revelations, five things we might see. So let's go ahead and get into them. So the first potential revelation we might see is a post-trailer gameplay. That would be gameplay starting off right where this trailer, the second trailer, ended. I think that would be a fantastic segue from where this trailer left off into what is now the gameplay that they have said that they will be showing. So some of you might be saying, well, Ellie or Joel aren't in this trailer, so what kind of gameplay would this be? Well, if we remember... In The Last of Us, the first one, the very first person that we play as is Sarah. It's not Joel. It's not Ellie. Even though we play as Joel for the vast majority of the game and Ellie for a little bit, we actually start off the game with a completely different character. So with this here, this scene is a very intense scene. As you can see at the end, we have some very aggressive clickers rushing them at the end. If this trailer segues straight into gameplay because some people it was rumored that this was not a cutscene. this was actual in-game engine footage this would be an awesome little transition straight into tonight's potential gameplay reveal so yeah this is the very first reveal it's a possibility not a certainty but certainly a possibility The second possible revelation that I think could be really amazing was if Joel were to make an appearance tonight. And I use the word appearance in actually two ways. Uh, one, it'd be really interesting to see how they have literally aged Joel and how he looks now. From the first trailer, we weren't really able to see much of Joel at all, just a couple over-the-shoulder shots. And he didn't really seem to age that much at all which then really led to many speculation and theories that Joel is in fact dead. Or, as I have mentioned in another video, that Joel may just be a figment of Ellie's ever-deteriorating mind. But regardless, if Joel were to make an appearance tonight, it would be a massive revelation. And we'd get to see what his role just might be, which would be pretty dang awesome. Either way, it's exciting. What are you doing, kiddo? You really gonna go through with this? The third possible revelation, and it is a big one, is, is if they were to reveal Shannon Woodward's character tonight. So there has been a lot of speculation about just exactly what kind of role Shannon is playing in The Last of Us Part Two. Some say Ellie's girlfriend, some say Ellie's sister. For me, I think she may potentially be playing Anna, Ellie's mother. And I have very several uh, reasons why I think this. Uh, if you look at a lot of the pictures that have been posted on Twitter, you can see that a lot of them come from a very long time ago. Uh, as far as we can tell, it's from the very beginning of the motion capturing that they were doing on The Last of Us Part Two. And there's actually one picture in particular that I think is potentially quite telling. It shows Hallie Gross on top of a makeshift horse with what looks like potentially a baby or some kind of doll just behind the horse on the left. And the last thing that, for me, it just seems pretty simple. If you look at Ellie and Shannon side by side, I think she looks a lot like Ellie. You know, it could just be coincidence, but who knows? This would be a huge revelation if we were to find this answer out tonight. The fourth potential revelation would be seeing some infected animals. Now, there, this is a thought that I've actually kept to myself for a very long time, ever since I saw the first Last of Us Part Two trailer. And it immediately reminded me of two specific scenes from the university slash science lab uh, section of The Last of Us Part One. Uh, when the monkeys ran away from Joel and Ellie when they were on the horse. And then once again, uh, when they were in the lab, there was a recording. And I remember specifically uh, something that had happened that the scientists had said during this recording. 
he had felt that he should, uh, before leaving, uh, release uh, the monkeys, even the, some of the infected ones. So for me, the big revelation here is that those monkeys escaped, potentially infected bears, wolves, squirrels, who knows. Uh, but with this, uh, now the animal kingdom may have their own kind of infected, which is something that we never really saw uh, in the first one. The monkeys were carriers, but they never actually you know, manifested the infection form. And so, yeah, when the first trailer came out, there was that claw marks on the tree. And then as that was the first thing I thought is, oh, wow, <laughs> those infected monkeys uh, infected something bigger. So who knows? There may be a reveal of infected animals tonight. The fifth revelation would be a huge one. It would be the announcement of a battle royale mode in The Last of Us. Now, I've always kind of thought that The Last of Us is really one of the most perfect environments to have a battle royale style game. Uh, as in this scene that I'm showing here, the way that I am playing is in a way that is like you are scrapping for every ounce, every second, quickly scavenging through houses to get materials in order to, to craft and, and build stuff. Um, and for me, I think this would be just a wonderful, wonderful way to play the game. Not having a, a toolbox, you know, a little lockbox in the middle of a map somewhere that makes you an easy target to hit. No, if you spent your time, you know, scavenging and s scrapping through houses, something that you would actually do in a post-apocalyptic situation, I think it makes for a very, very fun game mode. Now, Naughty Dog always has a way of kind of upping the ante with their multiplayers. And there are a ton of Battle Royale uh, games out now. The market is quickly becoming saturated. Uh, so I know this will be very divisive with people within the Tilu multiplayer community because the first multiplayer really is a masterpiece. It is a un unheralded masterpiece. Uh, there are just so many elements of it that made it so fun and so easy to play time and time again um, that a lot of people don't want that form they messed with. For me, I feel like you could still have a battle royale mode along with the original traditional mode, supply raid, interrogation, what have you, or even some kind of new um, kind of take on those that made it very easy and accessible for those who uh, traditionally played the classic multiplayer. For me, I see no reason that both modes, a battle royale mode and a traditional mode, can exist in the same game. And I think it would be pretty dang awesome. Um, but at the same point, I feel like Having, you know, some kind of new scavenging system where you're able to go through the houses really would add that element of intensity and uh, uh, also feeling that you, you every moment counted, that you needed to craft things quickly that you don't always necessarily fill in the current multiplayer. Um, but yeah, I know uh, size and scope would definitely be an issue, and that's why I think uh, if this mode were to take place, it would have to be something more like 20 to maybe 30 uh, people max in the Battle Royale. And I wouldn't, <laughs> it definitely wouldn't be a mode where you'd have people falling out of a plane or a bus. Definitely not. You know, it would have to have a, be a much different system. But I think the Tilo environment is rife for such a mode and it would be perfect. So yeah, these are my five revelations. Uh, the actual showcase is just hours away. So thank you so much for watching this and I hope to catch you guys all in the next one. Cheers. Ah, uh, yes, those of you who know me well know that I love hiding things occasionally at the end of my videos. So this is something that I did not put as one of the five revelations, but it's something that would be truly amazing. And for me, it would be if we heard a new song by Gustavo Santolaja, who did an absolute wonderful job. It's a, a masterpiece. In my opinion, the best soundtrack 
to ever uh, grace a video game uh, in The Last of Us 1. And I just can't wait to hear what he has done with The Last of Us 2. All of his work, not just The Last of Us, but all of his film scores and the other work he has done is top notch. And so that is something that could be really, really awesome to hear a new track from Gustavo tonight. So yeah, it's just hours away. Can't wait. <laughs> 